सत्र एटी फोर या इदम नारद प्रोक्तम शिवानुशासनम विश्वसिति श्रद्धते सा भक्तिमान भवति सा प्रेष्ठम लभते सा प्रेष्ठम लभतेति He who has belief and firm faith in the instructions taught in this doctrine by sage Narad attains his beloved lord oh yes he surely attains his beloved lord finally after giving his definitive exposition on the subject of devotion sage narad unravels the conclusion of his doctrine he states that those who believe and have unwavering faith on these auspicious aphorisms attain the lord as their beloved in his teachings Sage Narad is not overpowering or harsh. His way is simple, easily understandable, and can be followed by anyone without difficulty. Nowadays, it seems that the path of devotion has become very intricate and confusing. There can be a tendency to be distracted by politics or philosophical contention among sects, though the essence of the path is actually extremely simple. So here, Narad tries to show the path of devotion in a straightforward manner where the spiritual aspirant needs no prerequisites by taking the shelter of a spiritual master who has a real grasp of the Narad Bhakti Sutra and who understands the path of devotion anyone and everyone can be a student this is the beauty of Narad's teachings in this concluding aphorism sage Narad states that two things are necessary belief and sincere faith and if both are present the aspirant can begin his devotional practice which he must perform earnestly on the surface belief and faith can appear to mean the same usually belief comes from one's personal understanding whether it is true or not but here belief means conviction in narad's instructions and faith is a root of this conviction the scriptures say that devotion should be practiced with assurance and reverence one can realize the lord on the other paths the path of knowledge the path of action and the path of disciplined contemplation but narad states that by following his teachings on the path of devotion the lord will be realized as the aspirant's beloved which is the highest form of devotion In other words the lord is not worshiped from a distance in his regal form here there is a reciprocal loving relationship between the devotee and his lord krishna who is the supreme object of life is dear to his devotee just as his devotee is to him in the shrimad bhagavatam 9.4.68 lord krishna says My loving devotees are my heart and I am their heart. They know nothing but me and I know none but them. The beloved Lord thus pays the ultimate tribute to those who have surrendered to him by stating, "Wherever the great souls go, I follow them with the hope that the dust of their feet may fall upon me and purify me." Thereby The Lord confirms that devotion alone can make him fall in love with his devotees. And in return, Lord Krishna offers the most supreme nectar imaginable. He drowns with them in the bottomless ocean of his infinite love. But I have heard from the mouths of sages that love makes the impossible possible. Love experiences what reason cannot know. and the heart can see visions that the eyes cannot see may this book open our eyes of love forever radhe radhe